Employee development and coaching is the magic. It's why we're here. It's to bring out the best in other people, to help celebrate and bring out their God-given gifts and help them use them day in and day out for their greater good, for the team's greater good, for the organization's greater good, for the profitability of the organization. It's important for a leader to have the skill of employee development and coaching because that's the future of their organization. The organization is the people. That's the asset that needs to keep growing over time. So leaders need to be investing in growing their people because their people will grow their company. Leaders who excel at employee development and coaching are fallible. They know they're not perfect and they're okay with it. They know, therefore, that the people on their team are not perfect, and they're okay with that, and they make it safe to make mistakes. That's employee development and coaching, is being able to celebrate your wins, but also learn from your losses. A leader can improve their employee development and coaching ability by recognizing that they want to create a culture where they do for others rather than do to others. Some other ways to increase your employee development and coaching is to assess them and understand where they're already amazing uh, in black and white and reality and continuously grow those, continuously grow those skill sets. Be their cheerleader, be their advocate, make it okay for them to, to trip and fall. Those are great ways to help people grow their employee development skills. Another way to grow your ability to understand and evaluate others is to start with yourself, to do your own assessments, understand the way you think, and own it. Understand what's in your heart and own it. Understand your communication style and own that, and your skill sets and own that. Those are all great ways for you to start with understanding you in order for you to build that bridge to understand the people around you better.